you're we're back um with the motherfucking ranks um the 2023 ranks i literally predicted almost team for team in 2022 um i was right on my super bowl favorites so let's just get right into it you know uh, let's keep my cute face up here all right starting off i have a whole list ready to go bro ready to go we got We'll we'll just you know for 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 everyone's sake, I did the Rams last year. We know how it ended with them. We're gonna have to put the Super Bowl champs up there, unfortunately. Now, moving on, because who cares about giving the Chiefs their flowers? The Bills. They have a crazy roster now, and now they open up different um, avenues that they can go you know, with the offense. Now they added an insane tight end. And the pair with Dawson Knox, I mean, Stefan Diggs, uh, Sh- Khalil Shakur, like, Gabriel Davis, like, the list goes on and on. Josh Allen, James Cook, that offense is going to cook. So, yeah, I, I would say that they're going to be pretty good. Not much uh, explanation needed for either of these three teams. I mean, the one thing is they can go here. I, I can make this a case and you know what we're gonna make it a case because Jalen Hurts is overpaid in my opinion and they have the hardest schedule so that takes them from being a Super Bowl favorite to a Super Bowl contender because their conference I feel like they should easily win but the one thing is that they just they have a hard schedule and they have to play the toughest road and I don't think they're gonna be able to repeat as a Super Bowl you know contender but you know the fall from grace is real but i mean i'm gonna review this a year from i mean when this when the season's over we're gonna review this so just so you know next up who do i have who do i have unfortunately i was gonna put them up here but it's just you got it's these are about predicting things right not recency bias all right and they had the easiest schedule so let's just keep it a buck so i'm gonna go with uh another super bowl favorite which aren't these aren't really easy super bowl contender i would put them at favorites because they did knock my bills out of the playoffs but it's just like both both these three teams have to have you know it's it's gonna be hard it's not gonna be hard for them to be back in the super bowl like or it championships but it's totally possible but it would be a whole lot harder for the Eagles now that they have the hardest schedule and they were like just starting to get good last year these teams have been killing it for the past three years other than maybe the Bengals but we'll you know what I'm saying if if you've watched the NFL you know what I'm saying moving on Jalen Hurts is not that guy whatever he can run but he's he he, he can throw but he's not like a dominant thrower Next up, playoff locks, the Ravens. They have a great offense this year. I think they finally may have uh, unlocked Lamar Jackson's true potential, but that will be determined. Um, Let's go who's next, the Niners. I have them at at Super Bowl contenders. I have a feeling they can, I don't know who who their quarterback, Jimmy Garopp, no? (laughs) He's on the... The Raiders now, yeah. Um, you know, I I just I think they have so much talent. I forget he, literally who their quarterback is right now. I, I think they have like s- some someone's coming off an injury, maybe. But they might figure it out. You know, I just don't really care about San Francisco to be honest. They just they they always go far, kind of like my Bills, and kind of bounce themselves for whatever reason and. I don't care, but playoff lock, um, yeah, but they just deserve to be in Super Bowl contenders because I just believe they should. A playoff lock uh, is the Vikings. I feel like their offense is still pretty good. Um, they could also be a potential wild card, but Justin Jefferson, you know, he's pretty good. Kirk Cousins, or whatever, you know, he's mid, but potential wild card. You know, we won't keep him as a lock. 
potential wild card. I'm going to come back to that one. We're going to do the Chargers now. I feel like they should be a lock, but it's just the division's tough, so we're going to go potential wild card. Um, next, we're going to say... Let's see, you know, like, there's just not really much a description. Justin Herbert's kind of, like, a really good quarterback, obviously, but, like, there's just not really much to do with that. Um, I, I like their offense. It's just, they just got to compete, you know? I like their offense. Potential wild card could be the Browns. Their potential. I like their offense this year, but, again, they have to prove it to me. Not that interested. I don't really like Tua. I think Tua is kind of overrated. I think he's. We've seen the peak of Tua. I think we've also seen the peak of that. That the offense. I like Tyree Kill. I like their coaching, but I just feel like they're just not that good of a team to compete in the division. And the Bills are just kind of going to do what they're doing and bounce them, even if they get to the playoffs. I just don't. You know, now they have a hard schedule too, so I just, I, I don't know. I feel like the, the Dolphins are going to come back to reality here. I'm smoking on Dolphin pack. And, you know, they have a potential. The Jets have potential. I've been hating on the Jets heavy recently, but I think they have potential to snag the wild card, all right? Potential. But that's the most respect I'll ever give them. I still think their season could still be a complete train wreck. Like, it can go good for 10 weeks, and then the last, you know, seven, it's you see the, the screws come loose, kind of like the Bills last season, and then it just derails. Happens. And it looks like a team that, that it can easily happen to with Aaron Rodgers. It, no one would be shocked. But we'll take the potential wild card. Uh, another potential wild card, Denver. They just are so due, you know. I like Russell Wilson. That system, whatever, just didn't look right. I don't know what went wrong. I don't know how they're gonna fix it, but they do. It's it's, it's Russell Wilson. Bro. I mean, like he's literally him. So he's not him, but he's like he's top ten. So we'll give him his flowers. Potential wild card. All right, I'm gonna start going with. Some teams I just don't like, okay? Because it gets hard to determine the playoff teams. Young and building, the Steelers. I don't like Kenny Pickett. I don't think he's the guy. I, I don't really know who's on their team. I think they're just kind of going to be mid for a while and just fall short from top 10, top 5 picks and just kind of be average for a couple years. They're just I like their coaching. It's just Kenny Pickett. I don't know why you'd surround your franchise around a Pittsburgh quarterback. He's just... He was good in college. He's not really known for being the, that guy. He has the tiniest hands. He uses a glove. I don't like them. Jags. Potential wild card. They're on the come up. Trevor Lawrence is tapping in. I love it. I love what he's doing. He's a go. Keep doing you, Jags. I like the team. They're like my third or fourth favorite NFL team just to root for because it's like I like their colors. And it's like I they're like my bills. You know, my bills were so bad for so long. And like they're turning things around and I don't have any like bias toward them because I don't hate them because it's like they didn't like end my season anytime at all other than like maybe they beat us last year and I was pretty mad about it but like who cares but they have potential um Colts young and building Will Levis is a goat I liked him at Penn State but and they of course chose Sean Clifford but I like the Colts they're they're, they're good but they're young and building they're not gonna be in the playoffs so um, God awful, be ashamed. Derek Carr's not too young, but he's all right. I mean, he's, he's kind of young, I guess, but team in general is he's young and building. They're not really going to go anywhere. Young and building, not really going to go anywhere. I would put the Rams here, but mediocre at best. Giants. We'll leave them down here for now. I want to say mediocre at best for the Bears just because they have a good roster now, but they just have to like prove that they're good. So they have to prove that they're mediocre and at least fighting for the playoffs because they're just, they're not there yet. Washington Commanders, be ashamed. Don't like the team. It's pretty ass. 
um, young and building. You know, they just got that quarterback, C.J. Stroud. Hopefully, he kicks things into gear. They just drafted him. We have no idea who he's going to do. Same with the Panthers, Bryce Young. Young and building. They don't have a lot of expectations going in. Just hopefully it goes well for them. Awful, be ashamed. Um, Patriots, you're terrible. You guys know it. We all know it. Bill Belichick is holding your team back. Moving on. Um. Yeah, now this is when things get tricky. I was going to say young and building, but these guys are pretty good. I would say potential wild card. So we're going to put them in potential wild cards because Geno Smith is kind of playing... I always doubt him, but he's playing pretty good now, and they just, they're just they young, and they're building, and they might kick it into high gear and potentially make a playoff, you know? But I think it's time to start making some more playoff locks, so we're going to start moving things up. This, this, and this. So, yes, these guys are like locks. Come on now. Potential, I'm going to say missing, uh... Dallas, they just they they're on and off every year, but this is the year that they're just they're they're so mid, bro. Like they're not good, bro. I'm sorry, you just you're you're always mid. Your quarterback is good, but he's he, he, he he's not gonna be able to compete with you know Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes. So even if they have the playoffs, they're mid, missing the playoffs. They just it's a tough division. Mediocre at best. I like Kyler Murray, DeAndre Hopkins, of course, but they could just, they don't really figure out, so maybe if they figure it out, but until then, mediocre at best. Falcons, uh, young and building. They just got Bijan Robinson, you know, Riddler. Like, they got Ritter, they got people young and building, so, you know, they're safe. Lions, um, I'm going to say potential. They have a lot of potential at wild card. Um,. It's just tough, you know. They just gotta prove it. They just gotta keep up, you know. It's, it's tough. Hard Knocks was made me a fan, though. Can't lie, that that was a fire uh, few episodes. And then we got um the Bucks missing the playoffs, but Baker Mayfield will make this season interesting. I would put them at mediocre at best to Titans, but they're not even building. They're pretty bad. They're just giving away players, and they're probably going to give away Derrick Henry for like a round three pick in the middle of the season, I'm sure. Um, and then last but not least, the Giants, I would say mediocre at best. I don't know if they're going to miss. I don't know if they're going to be a potential wild cards. I just don't see a lot of ceiling with Daniel Jones. I like Saquon. That's it. Coaching is great. The whole team is young and building, but they're still mediocre at best. I think they have a ceiling, and um, they got bounced by, like, the Vikings or something. I don't know. They got bounced, but I think this is a good list. Um, let me know. Let me hear it. Let me hear if it's mid, but this is it, and I think after the draft, this is fire and has potential, but... Thank you for watching. Peace out.